Hi, and welcome to our overview of the Squire guidelines and preview of Squire 2.0. I'm Greg Ogrins. I'm a uh, general internist at the White River Junction VA and on faculty at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth. The Squire guidelines stand for the Standards for Quality Improvement Reporting Excellence. They're a set of publication guidelines to help you prepare your work for publication. They currently live at this website, uh, squire-statement.org. If you were to, na to navigate to this website, you would see our homepage that looks like this. You can see some uh, tabs uh, up top. The main part of the home page shows the Squire guidelines right in the center. There are Squire guidelines here that takes you to an um, interactive section of the website. There are available as a PDF. There's an interactive explanation and elaboration document, which I will demonstrate and show to you in just a moment. And then the elabor explanation elaboration document is also available uh, in a PDF. Uh, we have a list of our sponsors. There are some translations of Squire available, and there also is some recent news. You can see that this is a little bit older. The screenshot is from uh, several years ago. If you were to navigate to uh, this tab right here, the Squire guidelines, um, you would get an interactive version of the guidelines. What you see is um, each item, one, two, three, background knowledge, four, local problem. There are 19 items total, and you could scroll through those. It gives you a description of what should be in each item. Um, and then it also gives you the opportunity to click on one of these. And if you were to click on this, um, where you get is to the explanation and elaboration page for this item. So this is about background knowledge. It gives you the Squire item once again here in the bullet point. And then there is an example, and the example is a pre-2008 example. So the examples were drawn from the published literature before, uh, before, the public, before Squire guidelines were published in 2008. And then if you were to scroll down, there is a commentary about this example. There is an explanation about the example. It tells you why at that point in time uh, we felt that it was a reasonable example, what maybe could be a little bit better, and, and what were really some of the strong points of the example. Um, we recognize that there probably are better examples for many of these items uh, currently available in the literature. As you scroll through and look at Squire 1.0 on the website, I would also like you to be aware that Squire 2.0 will be available uh, in autumn of 2015. And as we've been working on these over the past several years, it's included um, understanding the use and the, uh, the things that worked well about Squire 1.0 and the components of it that worked less well. Um, there will be fewer sections. There will be more focus. We think this will make it easier to use. Um, we'll have more clear guidance about when and where to incorporate context into uh, your written work. And then we've received uh, copious input from journals and editors and authors and reviewers as we've um, embarked on this revision process. Let me give you just a little bit of a preview and a snapshot about uh, what's in there. And um, first of all, there would be emphasis on, on inclusion of explanations about why the improvements so, should work. So um, really looking for those mechanisms. What are the theoretical frameworks that underpin um, the improvement that you're doing. Uh, as I mentioned on the previous slide, an emphasis on the explicit description of context throughout the paper, and some clear direction about how to include and talk about iterative changes for an intervention, and particularly emphasizing uh, some of those failed parts of interventions and where those are relevant and what the insights and learnings were that were gathered from those um, uh, from those uh, perhaps unsuccessful components of the improvement. Here's a little sneak preview. This is actually a piece of Squire two, uh, excuse me, 1.0. So you see the items here. You see the ethical issues, setting, planning the intervention. This is from the methods section. And you um, can read and see some of the, uh, the materials here. Um, what we've done with this is tried to uh, shorten and focus some of the components. So methods now will have um, at least four sections, at least in its current iter iteration. Um, context has its own very specific section. There's a component about the intervention or the improvement and how do you describe it uh, in enough detail. 
um, how did you study the improvement, what sort of study design may have been used for that, and then an emphasis again on the measures. So, well, we are um, looking forward to bringing you Squire 2.0 in uh, the next uh, year or so, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting feedback from uh, everyone and working uh, with you in our upcoming session.